Hello everyone and welcome back to my Halloween Let's Play of Pajama Sam. No need to hide when it's dark outside. In the last episode, we taught Otto how to float and we got a hippie carrot and we need to help him to get back to um, his friends in Darkness's kitchen. So let's go and find his other items, shall we? Let's see. Mm. Oh hey, we got the doorknob here. Yes! Now we're going to get to one of my favorite parts of, of any Pajama Sam game. Oh yeah, and this bridge. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of gold. What? I don't have that kind of money, rip-off artist. Alright. Well, let's get to the door then. Alright, so as you see here, there's already a doorknob. Now, if the doorknob is not there, then your flashlight is in there. But apparently it's not. It's an oil can. And there's some oil in it. This was always my favorite part of playing Pajama Sam. I love the puzzles where, like, sometimes it takes a bit too long, and, like, you have to go through lots These of steps kind of in order to get it. Oil. That was always my favorite part of this game. Did the trick. Alright, so let's go in. Wow, hammer! Works great! Alright, so. Here we go. Time to die. I love the voice acting in this game. Alright, let's go. Another song. Alright. Okay, now this we will come back to later. Because, well, see for yourself. I said that's the bucket from that well in the sticker bushes. The current is too strong. I can't get this up there by myself. Alright. Whoa, did you see that? That looks like fun. Um, sure. Fun. Right. The physics in this game. That looks like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. I'm not asking. Alright. Yeah, that was fun! Let's do it again! Um, how about not right away, okay? Hey, another sock! Let's go. Oh, wait. I do want to show one thing first, before we leave. This was always my favorite scene as a kid. What did you say that thing was called? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. Water and passages deep down where the rocks are hot get heated up to the point where it would normally turn into steam. Except it doesn't because of the pressure of all the other water on top of it. So it gets really hot and it expands and it pushes some of the colder water out of the top. That relieves the pressure and all of a sudden the hot water turns into steam and POW! It erupts out along with all the colder water on top. Then more water flows down into the deep passages, and the whole thing starts all over again. Most geysers are located in Wyoming, New Zealand, or Iceland. The word geyser originated in Iceland from their word geosa, meaning gush. Geysers are usually very unpredictable about when they are up. The most famous exception is a geyser called Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, which erupts every 64 minutes. Uh, give or take about three minutes. It looks like this one goes off a lot more often than that. Um, thanks a lot, Otto. I've always wondered, like, if your monkeys did that on purpose, 
because of all the letters they were getting from parents saying their games are not really much education. So they said, huh, you don't think we're not education? We'll put something educational in a game, and we'll see how your kids like it. Alright, so anyway, now we're going to get to my favorite place and my favorite character in this game, King. Or, Look, that's right, Sock. Alright. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? <sighs> Look, I I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop the loop. But on I had, but then I got rushed. Rushed? Yeah, rushed. See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. But this is mostly full of darkness, so I highly doubt pigeons will come in here. Unless it's just like a normal world or something. Anyway, let's oil you up. Here, I think maybe this might help your wheels. Say, that's good. Now do the back, huh? Ooh, ooh, yeah! Yeah, you know, a kid's game! Because kid's game says that, right? I'm king of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid. Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. As a kid, I always thought the king meant like K-I-N-G. Then I just realized that there's an X in it. All right, enough lab and let's go. Yeah, this was always my favorite part as, as a kid, because it always felt like a roller coaster. I just love going to like all these places, going faster and faster. Man, okay, are there any socks or anything? Oh. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. Wait, we give Uncle, Uncle. I was tired of that job anyway. Let's try to find work at the floor. Do you think we'll get any severance pay? I know. Have a nice day. Okay. Uh, see, no socks, but uh, okay. And then it's the flowers then. All right, so let's go. That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. Smells like one, too. Insert jock joke here, and we're done. What are you going to do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what is it? It's a pickaxe for mine and gold. Oh, yeah. Right. Now, ah, here we go. Now, if I, if I had like mad editing skills, I would put some edit and Eddie soundtrack in here. Okay, I'm only gonna play this just for a bit. That there is a real oh. mining terminal. Try it out. It's fun. This looks like the control panel for some kind of robot. You're supposed to pick up the nuggets without crashing into anything, including yourself. Watch out for the moving rocks and hot lava. Alright, I'm only going to play some parts of this. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I love the mini arcades from Humongous, and this was one of my favorites. Now looking back, it is... I can see how some kids might find this a bit boring. 
But I don't know, this is still kind of fun either way. I'll do one more and that's it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's go. Uh, where? You know what? I'm gonna take a shortcut to the mine. Get this. I warned you to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have a small piece, huh? Deal. What the hell are you going to do with gold? You're a mine card. It's not like you have hands or anything. <laughs> what logic in this game? Um, let's go this way. Hey, I found a sock back there. There's one right here. I'm surprised these tracks don't fall apart or anything. Hey, I found a sock back there. These tracks are so dangerous, I really... I'm really surprised that this mine hasn't been closed down yet. Okay, I'll go through one more. Excuse me, Annie. Yeah, I'm going to go back real quick. I'm going to go get that pencil. Here you go. This should be at least a pound. You're clear. Go on across. All right. This pencil says construction crew on it. That's right. I'm the most important member of the Land of Darkness construction crew. Without me, they wouldn't know what to do. If you're so important, why are you hanging around in the park instead of working with the construction crew? I'd rather not talk about it. Want to come along with me for a while? Sure. It has to be more exciting than sitting around waiting for one of these old loafers to make a move. 
Alright. Alright, so I'm going to end the part right here, and when we come back, we're going to play another mini game. So, thank you all for joining me on uh, Pajama Sam, No Need to Hide from the Stark Outside, and I'll see you all later for part three. Mm -hmm. So, for now, this is Accord to Diesel, and I'll see you all later. Take care.